So all of us want to grow our influence here on YouTube, but how do you do that if you're starting from scratch with zero subscribers? In this video, we're going to be sharing seven tips on how to hey, do that. going, my bros and sisters, my name is Beard Pat, on how to get started on YouTube. I've been asked to make this video, I don't know how many times, I get this question all the time. How, can you give me some tips on how to get started? I, I think well, that's exactly why I'm making the video. Because I'm always asked, what are your basic fundamental tips? And I'm going to give them to you in this video. But for real, I want the tips that they got because I'm trying to get my channel like theirs. They are the big dogs in this game. And I'm going to give you the basic tips that they're using and so is everybody else to build their channels. If you enjoy the content on my channel, click the subscribe button. Click the notification bell so you're down every time I drop a new Life Games video. Join me on Patreon if you really enjoy my content. It's a way to help support a YouTuber such as myself. And go and check out my deal shop at shoplifegains.com. Let's jump into this video for basic tips every YouTuber needs. In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, but to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. What's good, you two? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful, just damn all everything, the sexiest hell host. Bringing you guys your life game today, helping you build your YouTube channel, getting your message out there. And we're talking about five basic things YouTubers need to have in place to really grow their channels. But first, I gotta put on the plus seven glasses of sexy as hell, working on skilling up my craft giving you a better YouTube experience, something better to look at, and making this thing flow so much more smoothly. So there are generally five things all YouTubers need to have in common to make this thing run smoothly. And one of those things that you need to have is a good banner on your channel. Let's take a look at my banner. So this is my banner. This is what I started with when I got on YouTube in 2015. That's when I started. And I wanted people to know that my foundation is in fitness, finance, technology, and just all these things that help you move to bring together the moving parts of life to give you a life game. But my foundation was fitness. And as you see, my banner has links to how you can get to me from Patreon. If you want to donate to my channel, it's got links to my Facebook, all that. Your banner needs to let people know who you are, what you're about, and keep it moving. Just think of it as a brand. You know, who you are represents, what people see of you represents what they think you're gonna be talking about. And you need to have a good banner that represents those things. And if you don't know how to do those banners, you can go to a website called Fiverr and get them for like $5, somewhere in that range. People will make banners for you. It's a good buy if you don't know how to do it yourself. But if you have a, a camera, and a computer, YouTube makes it easy for you to upload a good banner. And if you saw my video on using TubeBuddy to edit videos, you can do your own banner. So make sure you have a good banner. My second, my second lesson would be um, in the section of YouTube where it says about your channel, you need to load that up with everything you're gonna be talking about on your channel. And even in some cases update it if your channel mission changes. Number one, it allows YouTube to create an algorithm to help bring you up with other YouTubers doing that content. It scales you up and it just lets people know who you are, how they can reach you and what it is you're about. Think about like when you're gonna watch a movie, if it didn't give you a synopsis, all you seen was the picture and there was no synopsis. You wouldn't know possibly what the movie is about. That's what your about section does for you on your YouTube channel. It lets people know what you're about so they can make a decision on using your content, watching your video. So that would be number two. Number three, I just did a video on it. Thumbnails. 
your video thumbnails need to pop. That is probably in the top three most important things you've got to have on YouTube to get watch time, to get viewed. You wanna make great thumbnails. You want those thumbnails to have, you know, maybe some regularity in the way you do them. So for me, I love to put arrows in my thumbnails with words in them. That's kind of like unique to me. Start making thumbnails that are unique to your channel, almost like a brand. Like you see my life gain symbol. This is unique to me. This is my channel. This is me. This is who I am. So when people see this, they know to think Lamont Tyson. You want to do the same thing in your thumbnail. You know, come up with some creative design for a thumbnail. Take a look at a few of these, like this one, like this one, and like this one. Those are signatures to those particular channels, and that's how people know those particular thumbnails came for that channel. You want to do the same thing. The other thing that's really important is having an upload schedule, ladies and gentlemen, and you have to be consistent with your upload schedule. So if you really want to get into YouTube's algorithm, uploading once a month is probably not going to cut it unless you're someone who's already famous. So if you Stevie J, you Michael Jordan, somebody like that, it'll work for you because you already have a following. But if you're trying to build a following, you're probably going to have to be uploading twice a week and make it when you upload, it's the same day around the same time. Now, you know, everybody's life is busy. Sometimes you're not going to be able to upload on those same times. But try your best to get on some kind of weekly routine where you're uploading videos on the same day around the same time so that YouTube can know to start putting you in the mix and that'll give you a little bit more consistency for the people that do find you and enjoy your content. Last thing that is always overlooked that I've kind of overlooked and it's kind of hard to balance is interacting with your community. Basically having a platform where the people that find you on YouTube maybe can find you somewhere else like Instagram, Facebook, and you communicate with them. You can also do that by communicating with people when they leave comments on your YouTube. This builds your audience, it makes your audience feel like you're tangible, it makes it feel like they can connect with you. The catch to that is as you grow, you may not be able to get back to everybody. And then just keeping it real with you, you're gonna start gravitating to the people that are always commenting on your videos, that have been helpful from day one, that's probably the people you're gonna prioritize. But what I want you to do is try to prioritize, you know, your new people coming in with the old people. And maybe you can do that by having them not only just comment on YouTube, but tell them to follow you at your other platforms. And that way you'll start filtering out some of the people that are really there for you, who might not be there for you, they're just there for what you're doing for them. And that's a way you can leverage your time because you, if you're a YouTuber, you know that this is time consuming and a lot of it's time consuming and you're not getting anything back out of it for a long time. And the one thing that you do have that all the rich people have is time. And that'll be a way for you to leverage your time. And those are my five YouTube basics that can help your channel grow in 2018 and keep growing in the future. And always remember, if you wanna collab with this channel, if you want me to start doing some video editing for you as you're building your channel, just hit me up. Collaborations are free and I'm traveling on the East Coast. Doing your video edits, I'll do those 20 bucks an hour. That's usually about 10 minutes of video. Easy to share them to me and I can get them back to you. We can make that happen. And let's build your message together as we're learning these life gains together. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Follow a brother. We're trying to blow and grow in 2018. We want to see you guys do the same thing right with us. Go over to shoplifegains.com. Check out my gear if you like it. Check out my blogs. And until that next sexy as hell video.